Let me start this video with the case study of NEET 2022. Totally 18 lakh students appeared for NEET 2022 and out of these 18 lakh students only 10 lakh students passed the exam and remaining 8 lakh students failed NEET 2022. 8 lakh students are not even eligible to score pass mark which are around 100 marks. Out of these 10 lakh students who passed the test, 90% of the student which is around 9 lakhs scored less than 500 marks and only 1 lakh student scored above 500. Out of these 1 lakh students, only 20,000 students scored above 600 and 80,000 students scored between 500 and 600 marks. Why do you need to understand this? Why do you need to know all this data? Because only this data will help us to formulate our study plan. So what I want to conclude from this case study or what you need to understand is that if you can able to score 500 plus marks in need, you can able to eliminate more than 90% of the competition. So you need to understand that you are not going to compete with all these 18 lakh students. The real competition is between these 1 lakh students who scored above 500 marks. So from this case study, I would like to conclude scoring 500 plus marks is very important to stand out from the competition. This is the first and most important point I want to tell you in this video. So your primary duty is to target 500 plus marks. Don't settle for low marks, believe that you can able to score and meditate after you woke up in the morning and before sleeping when your subconscious mind is so active that you will be able to score 500 plus marks in NEET 2023. Once you have completed setting this mindset, now let us move on to the next part. How to score 500 marks in NEET 2023? The answer is very simple. You need some simple calculations. If you get 80 correct out of 90 questions in biology and only 20 correct out of 45 questions in physics and only 25 correct out of 45 questions in chemistry, you can able to score 500 marks. Since biology is very easy subject, if you just read NCRT thoroughly, you can able to answer 80 plus questions and most students struggle in physics. So at least try to answer 20 questions correctly out of 45 questions. And for chemistry, 25 to 30 questions are good enough to score 500 plus marks overall. Now let us understand how to plan and study these three subjects. First and foremost is biology and NCRT is the bible. Study only NCRT and avoid reading notes, study materials or any other books. 100% stick with NCRT books only. Revise as many times you can. And most important thing is that you should never leave any chapter. Once you have completed any chapter, solve previous year questions. Next, for physics and chemistry, complete easy chapters and high weighted chapters first. Don't waste your time by studying the chapters which you feel so difficult. Because we have only around 30 days in our hand and we plan to solve at least 20 questions in physics and 25 questions in chemistry. If you are watching any lectures, complete them fast. And next important step is to solve previous year questions. Don't just memorize the formulas and do problems. Understand the concepts clearly. Here I would like to give you a pro tip. Watch these three videos I have made in the past for biology, physics and chemistry. Here I have explained in detail how to study each of these three subjects adequately. The link is available in the description. You can go and check it out. For physics, if you haven't subscribed to any lectures, you can join our physics 20 days crash course for 499 rupees. And for chemistry, especially organic chemistry, you can study my notes for free. Both of these are available in our app Neat Master. You can download it from Play Store, link in description. Finally, now let us move on to 30 day schedule. Neat syllabus is divided into 10 parts and you will get 2 days for each part which is 1 and a half days for studying and half day for writing mock tests and analyzing your performance. This schedule and 10 part syllabus PDF link is available in the description. You can check it out. So on first day, both the forenoon and afternoon you will study part 1 syllabus. And in the second day, also during forenoon, you will study part 1 syllabus. And during the afternoon, you will write a mock test. Fine. And you will do the same thing for the next two parts. Once you have completed three parts by the day 6, you will get one day gap on the seventh day. In that day, you need to revise the first three syllabus once again. In the same way, you will write the next three mock tests. And on the day 14, you need to revise the fourth, fifth and sixth part syllabus once again. And next, you will write 4 mock tests. And on the day 23rd, you will get 1 day gap 
in that you need to revise the 7th 8th 9th and 10th part syllabus once again okay fine at the end of 23rd day you will complete studying the entire neat syllabus one time great and on 24th and 25th day you need to revise only the class 11 portions and you will write a half portion test for class 11 on 25th day evening fine next on 26th and 27th day you need to revise only the class 12 portion and you will write a half portion test for class 12 on 27th day evening fine now at the end of 27th day you will complete studying the entire need syllabus two times great and on the 28th and 29th day you will get two days for revision during this time you need to revise the topics which you feel you forgot or you need to study once again and finally on 30th day you will write two full portion tests one in the morning and another in the evening and watch this video if you need a daily timetable and more explanation about this schedule and how to write all these tests simple we are connecting all these 10 mock tests to half fun full portion test in our app need master you can join in our test series only for 299 rupees once you have downloaded our app click the store button you can see our physics course and test series once you have completed the purchase you can write test series and watch video lectures and to view my organic notes click the sidebar and click study material and here you can view all of my study notes for free i hope you find this video very useful thank you for watching my video till the end see you in my next video